this. But whatever, dude. Sure. Um. No way. That'd be so sick. They do, that would be so good. Oh my god. Alright. Why? That. And that is the way. No, what? Ah, oh, if you pick it. I was like, bro, I was like, God. That one. Oh, that one is your. Yeah. That's fucking yeah. cool. It takes you from your fan club account. That's cool. That is cool. What? I bought the... I pre-ordered the special edition. Yeah. Let's go. Another cutscene. Every Quidditch champion's journey has to start somewhere. And for many, that's in our own backyard. In our minds, the garden is a grand Quidditch pitch. And wind blowing in the trees is a roaring crowd. Can you picture yourself playing among your heroes? Okay. So this is the tutorial. Whoa. Welcome to our backyard Quidditch pitch. Before you take flight, let's uh, make sure you're comfortable on your broom. A little bit. Rest comfortably in the saddle and double check your grip position. Wait, is it inverted? When you think up, the broom should do exactly what you want. If flying doesn't feel natural, try some adjustments. Yeah, that's better. There are a lot of threats that's on the cool. field. Mastering your evasive flying will keep you out of harm's way. You can really push your broom for an extra boost of speed, but it won't last forever. You'll eventually need to ease off and recover. I think you're ready yeah, for something good. a little more advanced. Drifting will let you fly in one direction while we looking at another. I use it all the time when lining up not bad. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. Definitely better than Neville's oh, first shit. time on a broom from what I heard. Here's a quick challenge to really see what you can do. Oh yeah. Oh shit, I missed it. Fuck. Wait. Oh, I got it, never mind. Oh, yeah. There's no rush to move on until you're comfortable. How are you feeling on that broom? Brilliant. Gone. Then let's brush up on Quidditch, shall we? It's really not all that complicated once you know all the positions. Each team has three chasers. They're the heart of the Quidditch team, if I do say so myself. That ball is called the Quaffle, and the chaser's job is to, well, chase it. When the other team has the Quaffle, our chasers need to get it back at all costs and bring it towards the opponent's goal. And working as one, 
throwing the bottle through any opposing goal scores our team points and brings us that much closer to victory. What are you going to pass? Quidditch is fast Linda. paced, and you'll often need to change your approach quickly. Sometimes a change in perspective is all you need. As a chaser, your main concern is the quaffle. Have a look for it now. Quidditch is first and foremost a team game. When you find yourself in an advantageous position, let your team know by calling for a pass. Now that you've got the quaffle, okay. don't forget about the rest of your team. Individual talent will only get That's you sick. so far. The truly great chasers know they need to pass to their teammates. <laughs> That's actually sick. What the fuck? As a chaser, your main focus is to score points for your team. The more you score, the closer you get to winning. Get those points by throwing the quaffle through. Always be on the hunt for the quaffle. If an opposing chaser has possession, that can easily be resolved with a swift tackle. Impressive work so far. You've proven you can score on an empty goal, but they won't always be undefended. Let's see if you can slip one past a keeper. Than I thought. <clears throat> that about does it for the chasers. Are you feeling ready it's for a warm-up match? Yeah. I was hoping you would say that. Buttons. Let's go chasers only for the Oh what? I yet to make you have to make a character for each position? Like for your team, I guess? Well, I guess everyone's gonna look the same. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, recruit your next chaser. I'll just default. This is the Weasley Twins, excited to show off our moves. Let's hope this match turns out better than the last time we played Quidditch. Speak for yourself, I had a great time, but then again, I am the better athlete. The Quaffle's up! Oh, what the... He lines up the shot. The Quaffle goes in! I don't want to do that. Ooh. Sick. He speeds towards the goal post. What a shot! Moving it down. There's the shot. Oh, I missed. But this shot's no good. It was weird. He takes a chance. What a shot. Great work, Chaser. It was a little bit weird on PC, but. Either that's the final Maybe whistle, the, 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 or the Mom's found the blubber worm in the toilet. Oh, I'm what a match. The game. Hell yeah. Hmm. This is... Right. Smack. You're a natural. Oh, shall we challenge them to a rematch? Or are you ready to... Alright, the lesson continues. Oh, and I think my brother Ron will be the best person to fly you through this role. Have fun! Ronald. Right. Then you gotta make a keeper.
Quidditch would be rubbish without the keeper guarding the goals. A good defence can make all the difference in a match. Your team's keeper has one very important job. Stop that quaffle from going through any of your goals. Being a good keeper requires the tactical mind to predict where the quaffle will be shot and the agility to stop it. With their vantage point, a keen keeper inspire and guide their chases as well. It may sound like a lot of responsibility, but nothing beats the feeling of single-handedly saving a goal. That's cool. Yeah, the keeper's like a... Like, well, obviously it's defense, but he also helps speed the other teammates around him. Be like buffs. <laughs> Chasers yeah, can play a decent yeah, it feels so much better. But to properly guard the goals requires a keeper. Keepers have their own way of moving. More like a hummingbird than a hippogriff. Give it a try. Oh, whoa, what the hell? Middle, and then right. And hold that to reposition. As a keeper, I feel like that. To know where the this roll is, is so much times. easier. I'm Don't forget to keep roller. focus on it when you need to. Yeah, it. Very weird. The keeper's job is simple in theory. Stop the other team from scoring goals. It's trickier in practice. Chasers will try and trick you, so keep a close eye on them and be ready to move. Your team depends on you thinking on your feet. Um, broomstick, in this case. Oi, don't doze off back there. You've still got a team to help. From here, you've got the best view of the happenings on the field. Show us your leadership skills and give your team some guidance. Huh? Wait, you make rings for your team your as well. I'll oh, the boost their speed. Flying through that is will give so you weird. Speed and energy boost. That helps the chaser. The keeper's kick is an indispensable tool. You can use it to deflect quaffles and bludgers. Or you can even give other players a good whack to drive them away. Let's give it a go. Try and save this next shot on goal by deflecting it with a big kick. That's about all you need to know as a keeper. Are you ready to play a match with Brilliant? Brilliant. This is the Weasley Twins, your favorite pranks who let you lot in. Better put on a good match or we'll have you arrested for trespassing. Only joking, of course. Or are we? The quaffle's up. For the shot. This chaser is unstoppable. This chaser is not afraid of close contact. There's the shot, and he scores. Wayne and them. Game's actually so good. Possession. Yes, keep moving it downfield. The chaser lines up the well done, chaser. Let's fucking go. That's the end of the match. Perfect timing, too. I think the gnomes are back again. <laughs> this was fun, but we have to run. Time is galleons after all. Okay. <laughs> Greenstones. Match. That was a great match. 
Offense and defense are both crucial on the Quidditch pitch. Now, shall we move to the next lesson? Or are you itching for a rematch? Brilliant. Let's move on to the roles that make Quidditch truly unique. Starting with the beater. Better find someone fearless for the job. I know Fred has been giddy to go over this bit. Or was that George? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Ah, beaters. You either love them or hate them, depending on which side of the bludger you're on. What are bludgers? They're iron balls that are fast, aggressive, and enchanted to knock players off their brooms. A beater's job is to use a bat to drive those nasty buggers away from your team. What could be better than seeing your opponent set up a perfect play and totally ruining their plans? Oh. Ooh, their blood. <laughs> the chaser isn't equipped to deal with bludgers. For that, you'll need the beater's best friend. A bat bludgers and nasty little buggers and can cause a lot of trouble if you're not careful. A lot of new beaters start off their career with an injury, so let's take it easy to start with. Drifting isn't just a chaser trick. Beaters can do the same, often to devastating effect. Quidditch is an incredibly physical game. Every hit will knock you off balance. Take too many hits and you'll be tumbling off your broom. When all else fails, you can just pretend you are the bludger and tackle your opponents. That usually does the trick. He's so sick. All right, let's put all this practice into play. Hit that player with a well-placed bludger. Don't worry about that. They volunteered for this. Well, they were voluntold to do this. Okay, let's knock them off their broom. Same as last time. Send a bludger their way while they're still off balance. Maybe we should worry about her. Just a little bit at least. Spectacular! Fred and George would be proud. Now take what you've learned and master it. Knock everyone on the field off their broom. Oh my god. It's killed him. <laughs> yeah. Fucking crazy. Now that you what understand what a beat is, then let's play a match with bludgers and beaters in the mix. Watch your head out there. there. Right. Let's hope this match turns out better than the last time we played Quidditch. Speak for yourself. I had a great time, but then again, I am the better athlete. The quaffle's up! He shoots! The chaser scores a goal. I see the as well. I bet it was hard The bludgeon knocks the quaffle oh. out of the player's hand. Yes, keep moving it downfield. Stole the quaffle. Oh my god, Anne. Go back to my character. Uh, let me chase it. Oh, I'm a. Oh, okay. I'm emoting. Fuck. This shot could tie the game. The wrong buttons. The away team saves it.
What a Good great man. pass. That's a knockout by the beater. There's the shot. What the shot? The chaser fumbles. The quaffle soars towards the goal. The keeper stops the quaffle. The shot. The is pass. Is there a player that can rise above the rest and score? The quaffle is loose. <laughs> it's all for blood. Can anyone see where the sit The chaser passes. But keep your chin up. Yes. Keep moving it downfield. The away team steals possession. The chaser lines up the shot. And that's a goal. Depends on the ball, I guess. What a great pass. The chaser lines up the shot and this keeper is on fire. That's a pass to a teammate. Everyone in the stands, watch out for those bludgers. The chaser passes. But the away team intercepts it. This chaser is not afraid of close contact. The beater knocked a player down. That's a pass to a teammate. The match has there's the shot. Well done, chaser. That's it. That's Everyone, the show's over. Until, Until next time. time. Insane role. That is so chaotic. Yeah. Compared to the other two. Well, obviously the keeper. Phew. Nothing like dodging blood just to get your adrenaline going. How did you fare? No broken bones or brooms, right? Should we play another match before we bring the snitch in? Then that means we're ready to learn the last piece of the Quidditch puzzle. The, the Seekers snitch. and the Golden Snitch. I'm not a bad Seeker myself, but I wasn't the youngest Seeker in a century. So, I'll let Harry handle this one. Everybody knows the Seeker. Their job is to find and catch the elusive Golden Snitch to score big for their team. Easier said than done, as it's the size of a walnut. I suppose they don't call it seeking for nothing. But aside from sharp eyes, better have sharp reflexes too. Because once you find the Snitch, you'll also need to chase it and grab it before the opposing Seeker does. If you can stay close to the Snitch, anticipate its movements, and dodge a bludger or two, you can actually hold victory in your hat. Seekers yeah. are entirely focused on the Golden Snitch, an elusive golden ball. It's tricky to find and even harder to catch, but gives your team a load of points. When the Snitch has been detected, it's time for the Seeker to... Usually, you'd need to find the Snitch first, but for now, we'll just focus on the fundamentals. You'll get a chance to play hide-and-seek with it later. The Snitch is famously hard to keep an eye on. Stay focused to avoid losing track of it. Keeping up with the snitch can be difficult, 
But using those gold rings will let you fly faster for longer. Uh. Oh yeah, okay. You need to set that if you're playing Seeker, you need to have focus cam on toggle. Holy shit, man. Oh yeah, you need control of the Seeker. Holy man. Seekers need to be quick and agile making tight turns at a moment's notice. Drifting is an excellent way to make those tight turns. This time, you'll need to find the snitch yourself, and quickly too. You won't be the only one looking for it when we're actually playing. Keep your eyes open for a glint of gold. Listen out for the flitter of its wings. Keep it in your sights. Grab it when you're ready. And with that, you Hello, know everything you need to know to play Quidditch properly. Are you ready it's for your first on real PC, match? At least. Okay. This is the Weasley Twins, your favorite pranksters <laughs> and Quidditch player. This is Ginny Weasley, co-commentator for this match. Fucking horrendous. I think Chase is good for me. Let the fun begin. That's the way to go. He takes a chance. And it's in. Keep moving it downfield. Oh, what? The goal. what a save! Nothing's getting past that keeper. There's a bloodbath out there today. The away team steals possession. I'm saying, bro. What a great pass. Passes to his teammate. Yes. Keep moving it downfield. Oh, yeah, this guy. He speeds towards the... And the quaffle is in. Who will be the first to find the snitch? The snitch is revealed. Good to see 
a team passing the corporal around. There goes the shot. What, what a shot. shot. But the visitors intercept it. The chase surpasses. The visitors steal possession. is half he lines up the shot the weasley team saves it the corporal was stolen that chase is not playing around he takes the shot oh he's the fucking keeper nice. stops the corporal this chaser is not afraid of close contact he takes a chance and it soars through the goal the snitch has been caught yeah, the salamander we lost what? in the house on the other hand. Yeah, exactly. There's the shot. What a shot. Great work, Chaser. An intercept. Hmm. Oh, yeah. No and... way. Can hit a teammate or some team shit. Team steals possession. Hang in there, seeker. Not that you have much choice. He stole the quaffle. Oh, you lucky child. The quaffle was stolen. That that shit, boy. No he spots his chance. Ah. Yes. Keep moving it downfield. Time's run. He goes for the. He scores. Visitors steal possession. We're down to the last 30 seconds. What a great pass. He takes the chase and scores a goal. You can't keep the quaffle away from this team. Battle for the snitch is over, oh. but the war continues on. That's the end of the match. Perfect timing, too. I think the gnomes are back again. Until next time.
rubber what oh yeah boom lead to the ceremony <laughs> <laughs> 